towards your friend, your heart, okay? Tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way. Cause you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away. But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade. Hello! So, I just quickly welcome to another vlog. Let me say that. So, I want to quickly actually tell you what is going to happen in today's vlog. The things that I, like, I forgot to record. That's what I'm going to tell you. So, first of all, in on Eid day, specifically this type of Eid, that's Eid al-Adha or Eid al-Kabir. Yeah, what actually happened is you wake up, you pray, pray your salah. That's the morning prayer around before Fajr. That's before um, the sun comes up. Then, advisably, that's the sunnah. You are required like um, to take a ritual bath. After you take a normal bath, you are required to take a ritual bath because you are going to pray, but it's not compulsory. Some people don't do it, some people do it, but if you do it, you are going to get rewarded. And if you don't do it, you are not going to get any sin for it, based on what I know. But if I'm wrong, please correct me in the comment section. I don't know. Yes. Then, after you take a bath, you wear your finest clothes either new or old clothes but a fine clothes like a beautiful clothes then you go to mosque and you pray to rakaat that's to prayer if that makes sense rakaat means um the prostration the prayer how muslim pray tonight to my non-muslim friends that's the people that i'm explaining this to that because there are some people that actually have no idea what happens like on eighth day so yeah you go you come back you offer your sacrifice yeah it's advisable for you to offer your sacrifice like one hour after the prayer that's after the imam made his own then everybody's allowed to do his own imam is the person that actually pray in the mosque like a scholar after he do like he offer his sacrifice then everybody will actually start offering their sacrifice this sacrifice will be will be conducted the first day of Eid the second day of Eid the third day of Eid right I think it's three days after Eid or four days correct me if I'm wrong so yeah and this sacrifice can be made with either a cow a sheep that's ram a goat that's the three things or a camel yes the main purpose of this Eid marks the event when God commanded prophet Ibrahim that's Abraham if you know him by that that's his English name right when he commanded um, Ibrahim prophet Abraham Abraham to make the sacrifice with his son and he was about to do it then God replaced him with a ram so yes that will be our celebrating and we are also celebrating the Hajj rites because Hajj is being performed in this month and yes we can make the sacrifice for this that's the first day of Eid the second day the third day people will make them but the first day that's on eight day if you make it you make you get more reward like you offer the next day if that makes sense so yeah you do it then and it's advisably like before you go to the mosque you should fast right you should fast like not a fast fast but you not eat breakfast you're not doing quarter if you wake up then you go to the mosque after you finish praying then you break your fast with a date or you come back and break your fast with the meat that you offer sacrifice with that's how it is then you break your fast after you're back home you already start breaking your fast at the mosque 
if you have the money to buy dates because some people don't actually have the money some people trek to the mosques so that they'll get more reward because every step you make towards the mosques is a reward every step uh, every step you make coming back from the mosque you get a reward and it's advisably for you to follow this like not to follow the same way that you go to the mosque and follow the same way to come back yeah, advisably you followed a different road to go and another different road to come back yeah that's how it is so you come back make your sacrifice then do what you want to do culturally here we will make the sacrifice clean the meat then hang it or well, not pieces the real flesh of the meat but the intestine will clean it people some people eat it but i don't eat the intestine of uh, ram or sheep i don't i don't know why it doesn't taste good to me i don't even the ram meat that's the um mutton right i don't like the taste that much i eat it but not that much but the intestine of it i actually don't eat it at all so the mutton too i eat small of it so that my like i just have a weird, like i'm a picky eater so yeah that's just me then leave the meat for the next day i don't know why some people make it but it tastes sweeter so not all people make it this way though because there are a lot of people that actually fry their meat the first day but some people actually leave their meat for the second day so that it will ferment you will not put it in a fridge or anything you just leave it like that to air dry then the next day pieces everything fry it give it to people your neighbors that did not make the sacrifices then that's it that's just basically it then culturally to then like we wear clothes the next day not the each day some people and not like won't wear but some people that actually have maids or helps don't do anything so they wear their new clothes the first day after they came back from um the mosque they wear different clothes new clothes the first day they wear new clothes the next day they will know new um wear another new clothes the next next day to eat the, till the celebration is over but like people for people like us no we don't wear clothes the first day apart from wearing a new clothes going to the mask come back and remove it we will walk the next day we we'll also walk then the following day that's the day we wear clothes and go and visit friends and yeah and during this time that's the first day the second day you get guests you have guests that will come over and visit you you make eat treats yeah i skip that we make it treats some people make it the day before <laughs> but i don't know why in our house nothing goes as planned i don't know why <laughs> that's just how we are yeah we'll just make things anyhow here you make it treats that's the chinchin or you make cupcakes the fried meats you give them food they come over and visit you and that's it okay then i would let you see what some things that i record in the vlog i hope you enjoy good morning yeah <laughs> it mubarak is the first day of eat today eat morning now so i did not make my hair see Oh, I did not make my hair. I'll explain it later if I come back from the mats. Why oh, I didn't do that? Now I'm going to take a bath. Then go to bath. So, my baby, we are about to go to mats, but we missed it. Oh my god. <laughs> Thank you. 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 Thank you.
snap pictures and go back home. Right. Now we are heading back home. <laughs> this is so funny. Seriously. Oh my god. Hmm. Okay then, we'll go and we'll snap pictures. We missed eight. Like the prayer. What a shame. Hmm. I know you told your friend you're not okay. And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way. And guess you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile until I look so yeah we missed the eighth prayer back home obviously i removed my veil so yeah i'm going to explain to you why i did not plait my hair i did not plait my hair cut my nails or shave for the past 10 days yes 10 days you're not going to do that if you are going to make a sacrifice yes officially this year i'm going to make my sacrifice myself I'm going to fight myself, not my dad doing it for me this year. Me and my sister were going to do it. So I did not plait my hair or lose my hair because in the process I can lose some hair. So we don't want that. No cutting of nails. Yeah. But I'm going to do my henna today. So today or tomorrow, I'm not sure. But definitely this salah. This eight or salah. We call it salah here. So yeah. I'm going to do that. Now I'm going to clean like we are going to start working now come along I will change my cloak now I'm gonna change and start working yeah come along with me now I'm going to edit my tiktok video and post it yeah take a ball along with me now I'm in Eat my back. Mm -hmm. I just changed and I forgot to mention to you that if you want to go to Mark's like it is um, recommended that you fast, not like fast for a long time, from the time you wake up to the time you go to the marks, finish praying, then you break your fast. It's like like under one hour, thirty minutes or forty minutes fast. Um, that's a sunnah. Sunnah is the teachings of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. So you come back and take breakfast, and that's it. And yes, if you are, if you are making a sacrifice, you have to break your fast with the meat. Like it's not a must. It's recommended also. So yeah. My mom already started on the cooking. That's it. We are going making okra soup and mashed rice. That's drinking kaffa. That's the drinks for the guests. And I started making my cupcakes. My sister enjoying herself. Then the butcher came and we offered the sacrifice and he started actually processing the meat and all that. You will see that in a bit, that's him. He will peel the skin of the rams and then um, process the meat and give us the rest. Then hang the other one. We'll see it later in the video. We already, this is the intestine who's that meat like processing it. I'm done with the cupcakes and some of it and is in the oven as you can see. That's that. They will marinate the meat and boil it, then fry it as you see in the bed. That's it. That's it. Then they will boil it, fry it, and that's how you like that's the first day. I think that's all the things that I'm going to record today. I'm just going to make um add tomorrow's vlog to it so that it will be a little bit long. Today I feel a little bit sick after we came back from the mask. Then I feel lazy for no reason. Well, for a reason because I I'm having cramps. My period. I got my period. So yeah. <laughs> 
but i think that's everything for today i will see you in a bit when it's tomorrow hello good morning it's the next day as you can see i just finished sipping the flour i'll make right breakfast my sister is going to make the chin chin yeah then we'll fry the meat and do other things you'll just see i'll try my best to record today okay come along today i hope you enjoy my sister is making the chin chin or half cake i have the recipe on my channel you can check it out i can link it in the comment section i'm making breakfast and then actually another another breakfast so tasty if you know you know that's me and my sister then hours later we started working they already start processing the meat that's the meat being processed like into pieces then i made lunch does that we had guests guests like guests visited the first day also we had guests but i did not record crazy silly me the chin chin fried already then we started proceeded to frying the meat that's it we marinated we added seasoning um spices and some grated onions to it mix everything allow it to marinate for some meat. that's the rest of the meat our Dry guest then i went back she already started actually boiling the meat that's that just had taken a snapshot of the meat yeah <laughs> crazy as you can see it's being boiled then we'll fry it you'll see that in a moment it's still working i'm not doing anything <laughs> Oh my god i was cooked to say i was not doing anything but i marinated the rest of the meat that we are going to keep in the fridge that's that marinated with spices seasonings and some grated a minced garlic and some grated onions After hours of waiting, the maid is fried. We went to the tailor to collect our clothes, as you can see. <laughs> that's my mom's clothes. Ironing. So, yes, that's everything that I was able to record. I'm so sorry. I don't actually like sit down and plan my vlogs. I'm very crazy, like so stupid because why? Yes, sometimes I actually plan them write them down the steps i'm going to follow but i have a phone i record with my phone sometimes i don't have like my battery is low i can record with a phone that have a low battery i want to buy a camera somebody should that should like gift me a camera so that i'll start recording with a camera but yeah that's just it i just record with my phone i just can't do anything about it that's all the things that i was able to record i'm so sorry i am so sorry i don't know if you record when i wear my clothes i'm a crazy person so sorry <laughs> so yeah that's it for today's vlog i hope you enjoy watching if you do please subscribe to the channel i would love to see you here all the time so that we we'll chat and be friends have a wonderful day i will see you in my next video bye bye